Hello, TypeTrace here. In today's video, I'll be explaining the Pathfinder in Illustrator and how to use the different shape modes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The Pathfinder can be a bit tricky at first, but as soon as you begin to understand what it can be used for and how to use it, it will make your workflow much easier. We will take a look at the Pathfinder and try out the four different shape modes as you can see right here so you can get an understanding of how these actually work. So the first thing you want to do is to find the Pathfinder panel. I've opened it right here but if you can't see it in your workspace you can go up in Windows and go down to the Pathfinder. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Shift Control F9. And as you can see, the Pathfinder is now opened. As you can see, we have four different modes you can choose from to showcase how these shape modes work. I just created these shapes right here. So let's just start with the first one. This one is called Unite, and this is actually a really easy one. What this does is that it will merge two shapes into one. For an example, if we select our two shapes and press on the Unite right here, it will transform the two shapes into one instead. And if you click on the shape, you can see that it is now only one shape instead of two. If you have a lot of the same objects, this Unite can be used as a replacement for grouping objects. Next, let's take a look at the next shape mode, which is the minus front. What this does is that you can subtract the top shape from the bottom shape. So let me show you. Let's say we want to remove the star in the circle. First, you need to make the two shapes overlap each other, just like this. You now want to select the two objects again, and then press on the minus front. And just like that, you can see that the star is removed in the square. You want to make sure that the specific object you want to remove from the other object is placed at the top. If you would like to place the square at the top, it will remove everything that is overlapping the two objects and it will only be the star that is back. Let's try that. So right click on this and let's make this on top. So press the bring to the top right here. And let's try to select it all again and use the minus front again. Next we have intersect as number 3. This one removes everything from the two shapes that isn't overlapping. Just like this. Let's try to select it again. And as you can see the part of the shape that isn't overlapping the star will be removed. And here you also want to make sure that it depends on what shape is on top. The last one is called Exclude. This one is actually the opposite of the third one, which is the minus front, and it will basically remove everything that overlaps and create it into only one color. And that is, of course, that color that is on top. So let's try to use this, select it, again and just press on this exclude you can actually create some pretty cool abstract effects with this one and it's a great tool to know that was all the shape modes explained in the pathfinder i hope you learned a bit more about what these tools can do and what you can use them for I would highly recommend you trying these different shape modes out in the Pathfinder yourself so you can start learning how to use them and see for yourself how to work with them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions about the Pathfinder or any of the shape modes, feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer it. That was all for now. See you in the next video.